Hello guys, welcome back to the channel, Theo here. Behind me is my E36 M3 and today I'm gonna show you what I selected to be my track wheel setup. Yes, I have brand new wheels. You can tell right now, but you are going to see it in a second. Let's go. Before I go any further, if this is the first time you stop by the channel, please make sure that you hit that subscribe button, hit that like to enable the notification so that you can get content and notification push anytime I drop new videos. I tend to drop videos on Sunday at 6 a.m. So stay tuned every Sunday 6 a.m. Come back here and watch what's going on on the channel, what's going on with this car or the other M3 that I have at home. Yes, today, like I mentioned, I'm gonna show you my track wheel setup. Why did I decide to have a track wheel setup? Well, just because if you go to the truck you need a different type of tire you need thicker tires and stuff and you sometimes you need wider wheels and sometimes those are not always the best as a daily driver so i decided to kind of like get that you know so i got uh, nicer wheels lighter wheels that's gonna help me on the track and stickier tires let me go ahead and show you those As you can tell, I decided to go with the Apex Arc 8 and man, 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 I am so happy with this purchase. Yes, 17 by 9, I'm going to put the stats on the screen right now, 17 by 9 square, square means that I have the same wheel each corner. Normally this guy is a rear wheel drive and from factory BMW had a wider wheel on the back and a skinnier wheel on the front but nope i changed that i went with a square setup so that when i'm on the track it's easy to rotate tires now on the daily setup this is not what i'm going to use i'm going to use a different wheel but for the track i want to use these wheels now i pair this with the michelin pilot sport 4s as you can see right here and those are 245 40 17. yes so apex r8 are a great wheel setup because the Apex R8 are light and a lot of people are using these on the track and Apex are really beautiful wheels and damn near sexy look at this look at that sexiness right here I mean you saw from the little clip that I showed you earlier how beautiful the wheels could be man and with the DC coilovers that I have it is sitting flush nice and sexy look at the car Man, I'm probably going to rock this on a daily basis. I love this look so much, you have no idea. I know that it's taken away from the black everything that I have at home right now sitting, but this uh, intro side is really, really, really getting through me. Man, I, I love this wheel setup. I don't even think I'm going to put back that 18 on this. If you know me, you know from the F80 M3 that I like fat tires. And that's one of the reasons why I decided to go with the 17. Also because it's lighter. And as you can see here, it is really fitting perfectly. Now it rubbed just a tiny, tiny bit whenever I go into like big dips and stuff. But on the back, I was expecting actually when I purchased it to have to use a more camber on the back. But I was surprised that it fits because a lot of people when they run these on the back, they have to have camber arm adjustment so that they can have uh, more than two percent negative camber now i thought that that would be the case for me but once i feel this i have to make a negative two camber here it is fitting perfectly without really uh, scrapping too much you can really see here i test drove this you know for like three days now i have this wheel setup and so far so good on the front i might probably use a little bit of camber on the front here because when i go to like i to big dips it scraps a little bit here you can see like that little line right here is because it scraps a little bit when i go into big dips. so i'll probably go ahead and remove my strut tower and give myself a little bit more camber on the front so that uh, maybe negative two camber so that the front is nice yeah man this is good this is good i love the look i want to go ahead and show you how concave those are man this is fitting like a glove perfectly 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 i love it i love it and i didn't want to drop to be too much 
because I still want to be able to drive the car on a daily basis. So this is the perfect right height for me. And yeah, the car is dirty right now, so you have to forgive me. So as you can see here, it's dropping. The drop is perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Drop in a comment below what you feel about this wheel setup right here. What do you think? Do you think I went with a great choice? Was I supposed to choose another wheel, an entire combo? I know that the Michelin Pilot Sport 4S are not the best, you know, for in terms of track. You have like the R888, you have Federals, you have so many brands that make, um, you know, track tires, slicks and stuff like that. But since I'm a beginner, I wanted to kind of go with this route because this is something that I can use even on a daily basis if I want to. But since I still have, like I have pretty much three wheels set up for this car. I have the factory, I have those 18s that are CSL style that I mounted before and I also have this. So I'm probably gonna sell like one or two, maybe just keep this one. I mean, I'm not sure really, it, only the future will tell. I change my mind so much sometimes that it's, it's crazy yeah but i love i love i love the look as you can see man the car is sexy what do you think drop in the comment below what wheel setup you have for your track and also if you dig it if maybe i was supposed to go a different route now it's just sad that um unfortunately i won't be able to go to the track this year yes the track that i was going to go is in west virginia and i wanted to make sure that my car is set up you know for success right with everything that i've done in the car since i purchased it so i took the car to an independent shop for them to check make sure that the car is kind of like ready for the track and stuff so they pointed out a few things that i needed to address they would recommend me to address before i take the car to the track cooling was definitely one item but they mentioned that cooling i can really get by because so far since i've, I've really drive this car hard and cooling hasn't failed but all the things that they mentioned are really things on the, the car. For example, I couldn't get alignment because um, right now my tie rods are frozen. They are stuck. That you can't really adjust the the camber. I'm um, not the camber. The toe on that. So um, that's it. It's stuck. I have to change them. Same on the back. There are things that really that are rusted there. There are bushings that they recommend me to place. Like a lot of work about around the soft frame area that they recommend me to do before I take the car to the truck. Because at the truck you really push the car to the limit when you're cornering and all of that. The transfer of forces from left to right and up and down and the, all that it pushes the car to the limit. It stresses a lot of stuff and they found a lot of things under there that they will recommend me to address. So for that reason, I didn't want to take the chance, you know, of going to the track knowing those things are bad and kind of like just pushing the car i don't think i would have, i could have done it so what i'm going to do is i'm going to go ahead and schedule all my track days just for next year because this is like the end of summer now and i want to go ahead and get the car ready for next summer next summer i want to go ahead and schedule more track days pretty much what i was supposed to do this year and next year i'm going to all do it next year so instead of just doing maybe like one month of track i'm probably going to do two or three Hopefully by next summer I'll have the car ready, I'll replace the subframe bushing, I'll replace the R-tab, the lollipop and all of those control arm bushing, all of that on the bottom side, hopefully I will have that fixed so that the car will be rigid and solid. Yeah. And also hopefully I will get the chance to also do the cooling of her. Once I do the cooling, probably all the things I will have to do on the car would have been done at that point and then the car will be really really ready for the track. Now, another one item that I always have to upgrade later on in the future would be the brakes. Yes, those brakes are not the best. Probably I'm going to go get some um, big brake kit later on down the line. I really want to do that once I am a little bit advanced in terms of, you know, performance in track and learn how to drive the car pretty well, corners and things like because I am a novice. Like I've, I've been on the track only one time in my life and to me, I consider myself a novice. I don't know anything about track life. So I want to make sure that I am prepared mentally, physically, and also the car is ready so that it doesn't um, spill oil on the, on the track, it doesn't fail or things like that. Because I really don't want to go to the track and fail and maybe cause accident for other people, maybe because I have like oil all over the track and people like skid. I don't want any of that. I want to, I prefer to be safe and this is the route that I decided to do. So unfortunately, I won't be able to go to the track this year. So next year, if God gave me, I will be able to go to a track with this car. It's getting there, it's getting there. So I have this wheel set up right now. Probably going to 
uh, uh, replace it and keep it at home just so that I don't you know use the tires because these are the tires that I want to use on the track when I purchased these I was hoping I was going to go to the track so I'm probably going to put back the factory 17s or the 18s for the winter period not sure which one then once it's ready to go to the track I'm going to put these back again yo I love this ah oh, man oof lord I love this look this look is crazy beautiful let me know man this m3 man shoot i still have to do a review on the car itself i haven't even done that video and I, I need to shoot that one of these days show the review show what i love about this car what i don't like about this car i haven't done that video but you know i will i will shoot that video i've been working so much on the car and and doing all the all, all other stuff at work at home that i didn't really have enough time to film all the videos that i want for this car and I, sometimes even little things that i fix on the car that i don't even film because i figured you guys will know these things by now so yeah like for example i didn't show you how i mounted the tires and we took it to the shop to do all that i kind of just wanted to skip all of that because i mean it's, it's pretty basic right i just wanted to show you the finished product that's what you guys care about so i want to go ahead and just show you that i didn't want to go present the unboxing of the wheel all of that no nah, i just you know what it's right there you can see it there and you hopefully you like it i love it i love it hopefully you like this video if you did make sure that you subscribe like and hit the notification icon and um, see you on the next video stay safe guys bye bye